CBP continues testing the containment cap. News 5 is doing some testing of our own. More than a week has passed since Alabama beaches have seen significant oil. And for the most part, the water looks okay. While it may be tempting to take a quick dip, you may think twice after seeing this report. It's a News 5 investigation testing the waters. We want to get a sample just over here where there are people actually in the water. Our News 5 investigation took us from Gulf Shores to Orange Beach to Katrina Key to the Dolphin Island Marina. We collected samples of water, sand, and when we saw kids digging... Do you mind if we get some water out of your uh, sand hole here? We got a sample of that, too. To our eye, the water looked pretty normal until we took those samples to a lab. When testing for oil or grease, how much would be normal on the beach? I wouldn't think that you'd find very much on the beach. Um, there's no real normal amount. Normal is non-detected. Bob Naiman is a chemist with nearly 30 years of experience. He tested our water and sand for oil and petroleum. Naiman says he wouldn't expect to see any more than five parts per million of the greasy stuff. But when he started testing the water, this is what he found. The first sample taken just off Katrina Key tested positive for more than three times that, 16 parts per million of oil and petroleum. The second sample was water from Orange Beach. Here we saw light sheen, and the test confirmed, coming back with 29 parts per million. In Gulf Shores, we came across some kids digging in the sand, some 20 yards from any waves. You mind if I get a sample of your water? But even there, the sample came back 51 parts per million. The numbers keep getting higher. Gulf Shores beach water, right where people were swimming, showed 66 parts per million. And the sand, where beachgoers are walking, has 211 parts per million. The sixth sample was a spot in Orange Beach where again we found kids playing and we found our highest content of oil and petroleum, 221 parts per million. But the tests didn't stop there. The sample we haven't yet told you about is the one collected from Dolphin Island Marina, near some boom, which we can only imagine has been handled by cleanup workers. When Naaman added an organic solvent to separate the oil from the water, just like he did with all the other samples, this sample exploded right in his lab. I mean, like almost instantaneous. Actually, maybe one second. It's just weird. The results surprised even our chemist. We think that it most likely happened due to the presence of either um, methanol or methane gas or the presence of uh, the dispersant corrects it. Unfortunately, the sample was destroyed in the explosion. So we'll have to get more and do a different kind of test to get to the bottom of what's in it. There are two things that we can take away from the test we did. First, even if you don't see oil on the beach or in the water, chances are it's there. All of our tests from Orange Beach to Dolphin Island showed an abnormal presence of oil. And second, while we don't know exactly what caused that Dolphin Island marina sample to explode, it has certainly caught our interest. News 5 will test that water for chemicals, specifically chemicals linked to the dispersant being used in the Gulf, corrects it.